So today I got to do a full 1,000 hour service on the Bobcat T595 and one of the questions I get asked a lot is how do you change the coolant in one of these Bobcat Doosan engines? So today we're going to kind of go over that real quick. Um, I'll leave a link, a little uh, card up here to show where I just do the engine service, you know, oil, fuel, and air. And uh, right now we're just going to take a look at how we flush the coolant. Now Bobcat says to flush the coolant every 1500 hours. I like to keep it at around 1000 hours. It kind of keeps things simple. I like to do a 250 hour service, a 500 hour service, you know, a 750, then a thousand. So just keep all your services at 250 intervals. It just keeps things simple for me. So let's look at how we change the coolant real quick. So the very first thing I do is I've already removed the top plate up here, but if you just moved your loader, we want to release the pressure by removing the radiator cap because when we pull this hose off the oil cooler if you have pressure in there it's just going to squirt out and make even bigger mess so two things you'll need is about 18 inches of a 5 8 heater hose now your manual will say a three quarter hose but 5 8 works better for me and a pair of hose pinch pliers these are to pinch off coolant hoses fuel hoses whatever and what it does is in the end of our hose they're just nice you know, smooth pliers that we can uh, squeeze the hose with and see that completely closes off so when no coolant comes out when we unhook this from the oil cooler. So a piece of 5 8 hose and a pair of hose pinch off pliers. So I'm just kind of laying a towel down in here to catch any coolant that I'm about to spill because you're going to spill a little bit but I like to try to do this without making a mess. You know, it's an easy process. The hard part is doing it without making a mess. And yeah, you can wash it off if you have access to water, but the problem is I'm always in the field and I never have access to water. So what I've got here is a forma funnel and I'm putting it, this is the oil cooler assembly right here underneath our uh, oil filter. And we're gonna pinch off this hose right back here. It might be hard to see, but get that nice and tight. And then we're just going to take our clamp move it out of the way <clears throat> yes there's better pliers for that too but now i'm going to try to remove this hose and connect this hose so i can pour it down into our drain pan Okay, so after we removed the radiator cap, I screwed it back on, and that helps pull a vacuum in the tank to keep this from just flooding out so fast we can't control it. So now nothing's coming out, you see, because there's a vacuum in the tank. So now we're going to release the cap, open it up, and then this is going to continue to flow the rest of the coolant out of the system. and that'll drain out 99% of your fluid. I don't usually run water through them and flush them because this uh, propylene glycol solution in these engines runs so clean. I've never had to do like a full, fill it up with water, flush and, and run it and clean it. I just drain it all out, refill it, and it's usually good to go. Right, we're gonna call that good, so we'll just pull off our little piece of 5 8 hose here.
and reconnect our oil cooler hose. And then we're going to refill our system using the propylene glycol. Like I said, don't use the green stuff from O'Reilly. You just get the correct solution from your Bobcat dealer. So propylene glycol is the purple coolant. This is the, uh, if you ever use diesel exhaust fluid, these are nice. This is the, um, you know, the, the fill spout that fits right on these coolant tanks. And that's just how I like to fill up these systems. So the system holds a little over two gallons. I usually buy three gallons to get it topped off, but that's all there is to changing your uh, coolant on these 2014 plus Bobcat Doosan engines. So now we're gonna get this topped off and finish up this thousand hour service. Thanks for watching.